In today's video, I will teach you how to trace images in Photopea. Let's get started. First, go to Photopea, then click File, then Open to import the image that you want to trace. An optional step is converting your image to black and white. If you want to trace a simpler version of your image, convert it to black and white by going to Image, Adjustment, then Black and White. Then adjust the contrast by going to Image, Adjustments, then Levels to make the lines and features more distinct. Now we're going to create a new layer for tracing. To add a new layer, go to Layer, New, then Layer to create a new layer for your tracing work. Then name it Tracing or something similar. Then ensure the new layer is positioned above the image layer in the Layers panel. Now we're finally tracing the image. Choose the brush tool from the toolbar. Then set the brush size to a value suitable for your tracing. And use a hard round brush for crisp lines. On the new layer, carefully trace over the lines and features of your image. And you can zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus for more precision. An optional step is using the pen tool. For more precise tracing, you can use the pen tool and create paths by clicking to set anchor points around the features that you want to trace. Then convert the paths to a stroke by going to Edit, then Stroke Path after you've finished outlining. And to refine and finalize your tracing, you can use the eraser tool to remove any unnecessary lines or refine your tracing. And if needed, you can adjust the thickness of your lines by resizing the brush or using the stroke options in the edit menu paths. You can click the eye icon next to the original image layer in the Layers panel to hide it and see only your tracing. And to save your work with all the layers intact, simply go to File, then Save as PSD. To export the traced image as a finished graphic, simply go to File, then Export as, and choose a file format such as PNG or JPEG. Then adjust the export settings as needed and click Save to download your traced image. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.